assalam alaikum ji in the last tutorial we added new projects underneath these one canal house two canal project islamabad rcc frame structure and karachi water treatment plant and in this tutorial we are going to add the activities in all these projects and i will show you how to add the activities and how to create a work breakdown structure so first of all before going into the projects in the previous tutorials of primavera we defined a calendars uh, i think we defined a standard calendar yes so we have to assign that standard calendar to our project so let's say this is our one canal house initially there was some other calendar or you can say the by default a standard calendar assigned we have to assign the calendar from this list of calendars this is the calendar which we made and i'm going to click here assign and it is assigned to this one similarly if i click here you can see this is some other calendar assigned and i'm going to assign this my project calendar so here as well i'm going to assign this my project calendar and on the last project i am going to assign the my project calendar so fine now if you click you can see the calendar is has been assigned as my project calendar so i am now going to right click here and i am going to go into open project as soon as i open the project this is the previously made work breakdown structure and all the activities actually there are some of the activities which i added so now i am going to teach you how to add these activities so i am going back to the projects and i am going to create i'm going to create the activities in this two canal house project so i'm going to right click here click on open project so that it's a brand new and empty project and we are going to start it from scrap so let's say if you expand that you can see there is two canal 2k nh.1 new wbs work breakdown structure and if you know how many phases of your project are there you have to divide that in a work breakdown structure if you know what is a work breakdown structure then it is fine if you don't know what is a work breakdown structure you can go to the previous tutorials of primavera and also discussed in the microsoft project video tutorials in detail what is a work breakdown structure so if you see the uh, initial tutorials of primavera there will be a complete uh, video tutorial on work breakdown structure i'm going to share the link as well so now if you want to go to the work breakdown structure and want to define one work breakdown structure you can just click here the directory if it is not available i told you last time you can right click and click on directly button uh, you can click on this directory option this is the text option for the directory so if i disable that you can see there is the text has been vanished so i am going to re enable that for you who don't know what does these symbols mean and what is the text of this symbol so if you click on work breakdown structure it is going to open this for you and you can now add the work breakdown structure according to your requirement if you just click on this add button you can see here it is adding underneath this two canal house let's say i want to write here substructure and i want to add another and i want to write here superstructure and i want to make this not underneath the substructure i want to make this underneath two canal house project so i am going to indent that to the left direction or you can say you can outdent that what is indenting and outdenting already explained in the initial tutorials of primavera you can go through them so if now you want to see the chart view you can see two canal house and underneath this who is the responsible person construction manager of obviously of islamabad and if you want to expand that you can see this is substructure and superstructure both at the same level let's say i'm going back to the table view and now i'm going to add one more here and i'm going to write here finishing finishing phase let's say so finishing i'm going to move down after the superstructure now if i see the project chart view you can see now this is the shape we have i'm going back to the projects in the projects let's say in the activities of two canal house now you can see here 2k in h1 substructure sub superstructure and finishing you can see easily if you want to this is one activity of excavation i don't know how this came i want to delete that 
so now i want to create one activity in this substructure so that is very easy just click here and you can see here add option new activity window will appear in front of you activity id is here if you want to give customized id of your choice you can give if you can if you are writing underneath sub structure you may write sub 0001 it's up to you it's totally up to you activity name you can give and activity name let's say in the sub structure first of all is excavation click on next that is fine task dependent yes resources if you have not assigned any resources here at this stage then you can just click on next if you have assigned resources here and how do you assign the resources you could go to enterprise then there is option of resources anyways we are going to assign resources at the at a later stage if you have already assigned resources you can just select that resource who is responsible for excavation and click on assign then click on next fixed duration and units fine activity units and duration labor units non labor units and duration i am not going to change this because we are going to cover these things in the later tutorials click next dependent activities configure relationships now not now i'm going to uh, make a separate video tutorial how to configure the relationships on the activities click on next next and finish so one activity excavation has been defined if you want to add an activity of preliminary survey that will be before this substructure or you can say in the, this i if i click here new activity and i write here preliminary survey let's say click on next finish i'm going to finish that you can say preliminary survey has been added here now if you see at the columns you can see original duration activity name actual total cost no cost is being displayed yet so schedule percentage complete start time finish time total float is in front of you so if you want to add more activities that is very much easy just click the place where you want to add activity and click on the button insert on your keyboard as soon as you click insert more activities will be added let's say if you want to use the previous option of adding an activity this is the option and if you want to use your keyboard the button insert defines new activities for you this coding is by default the intervals you can change from the settings let's say i'm going to write here preliminary survey again and this which i'm going to write layout of foundations and this one this one i'm going to write clearing and grubbing ji once we have added so a few activities here let's say we have to add a couple of activities in the substructure as well if you want to add uh, you just need to click on the new button or just the insert key on the keyboard i'm going to click finish you can see 10 increments have been added in the previous activity and in the next activity if you want to uh, change from 11 at the top and 1 at the bottom you can just click here and it is going to shift them it is totally up to you but that that is better that the lower value remains at the top and the values keep on in incrementing in the lower side so excavation then let's say we add compaction i'm going to click insert and here you can see another activity its name i'm going to give field density tests in this field density tests i'm going to give i'm going to press insert one more time and here i'm going to write excavation compaction field density tests termite proofing enter insert after termite proofing let's see we have 
lean concreting then insert after lean concreting we have shattering of foundations and in this way you can keep on adding the activities and you can just rename them and you can delete the activities as well if you want to delete you can just click here delete and this activity will be deleted let's say i created this activity and now i'm going to delete that by pressing this here it is asking if you want to delete the selected selected activity i say yes so the activity will be deleted so if i go to the superstructure want to add a couple of activities there click on insert you can add as many activities as you want in the finishing level let's say you want to add some activities you can add as many activities as you want if you want to change the uh, code you want to change the title you can do so let's say i write here superstructure sup here as well i write sup i write here sup and now if you want to add here the next activity will be added by this same name so fin i am going to write here let's delete these two activities first in finishing 160 okay next activity 170 finish next activity 180 finish fine so in this way you can add the activities according to your requirement now if you want to see the gantt chart you can just click here gantt chart and the gantt chart will be available for you and you can see if at this time all the activities are starting on the same date if you want to zoom this timeline you can click here and then just drag the mouse you can increase and decrease the space if you want to adjust this right click here and then click on time scale you see here this is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday so it is on day basis daily basis so you can change them whether you want these two lines to three lines there will be one year as well at the top that is up to you show primary details calendar week day one so you can shift that to day hour whatever you want that is totally up to you so you can play with this by just right clicking here and going to time scale option so in this tutorial we added some activities and learned how to make a work breakdown structure if you go to the work breakdown structure you can also give names to this work breakdown structure which you created if you will not write these names the if you will go to the activities here the names might not appear if you want the names to be appearing right click here go to group and sort and there you have to click here and select wbs and wbs name whatever you want let's say wbs name click ok and you can see here superstructure substructure finishing only these names are appearing again going to right click group and sort click here wbs click ok and we are going back to this initial view which we had so in this way you can create a work breakdown structure and you can add as many activities in primavera as you want as per your requirement so if you click on any activity now you can say this is the by default calendar is the one which we assigned at the start of this tutorial so that's why i assigned that to the whole project otherwise if i had not assigned that to the whole of the project i might be needing to assign them one by one by clicking here so it is better to assign them to the whole project now in the next tutorial we are going to see how to give the durations and how to link the activities with the predecessors so that's it for today keep watching thank you allah hafiz